December of 2022, two brave friends were texting each other. And like everyone else, they were talking about starting a podcast. What set these men apart is they were actually stupid enough to do it. One friend joked, Dude, what if we just, like, call it Cream Pie Sunday? And that's what they did. Through different phases, from audio only, to no context clips, to full-on video. By mid-2023, it was safe to say, the boys had generated enough offensive material to get cancelled ten times over. Cream Pie Sunday was the balls. They have a story. We're not gonna tell you the whole story, but we had a great time. Man, what a journey. Here's some clips to remember all the good times. We're some of the original Cream Fathers, so I guess technically we would fall. Yep. The fourth fathers of Cream. Couple Cream Daddies <laughs> over here. Couple Cream Papas. Still trying to think of a name for the pod. What, what do you think, dude? Cream Pie Sunday? Yeah, because then uh, we can just tell our viewers to get creamy on Sundays. Tune in and we'll all get creamy. Transgender Keanu Reeves. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. We're not saying anything offensive. You know? Like John Wick 5, like he gets tits and... You could eat your own ass. I mean, well, if you just like sit on like a meat slicer at the deli counter and just like oh, cut fuck. off, <laughs> cut off like w- rings of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I legitimately lose a hundred pounds, I will never jump on a fucking trampoline probably the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to fucking like, oh, I'm going to go dunk this ball. And then I get this big fucking jump going through and all of a sudden the side cables snap and I get decapitated <laughs> because it's fucking <laughs> the weight limits, 250 pounds. And I'm showing up like a fucking... Lob, glob of meat and I just destroy the whole fucking thing. The whole thing implodes on me. Three faps for you, daddy. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Any racial slurs at all. Hell yeah. Novo Heights. Novo Heights, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the greatest artist of all time. God, this is garbage. Like, how many times are you going to paint the dude sitting in the chair? I'm the next Walt Disney. How many slices of pizza did you have tonight, Rick? I'm running on pizza and Jägermeisters. Uh, fat piece of shit. Fat piece of shit. That's the fucking diet of champions right there, bro. He's not wearing a shirt anymore, dude. He's reversed Winnie the Pooh. He's got just cargo pants on. What the fuck? He's got, he's got like bright red biker shorts. What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> it is uh, it is my birthday month. I am Josh, Lord of the Cream. And with me, as always, the Prince of Pistachio, the uh, the Earl of Strawberry Swirl. It is also his birthday month. <laughs> and we're getting our dick sucked right after this. Rick, talk to me, baby. It's like standing in the middle of the road and like flagged down some guy. And some guy was on his way to work at like 2.30 in the morning and... And he's like, well, I can't really help you, but I'll give you a jack. And Jesus. Yeah, that was that was a shit show of a night. Fucking, I would have given that guy a jack for a tire. I'll tell you what. Yeah. <laughs> jack him give off. Give me a car. <laughs> Who'd he get sexually assaulted by? Fucking somebody in the mummy or something? The mummy, like, raped him or something? <laughs> <laughs> the mummy was diddling him in between takes. Hey, guys, I don't know if I'm cool with the mummy. Mummy has his pants down in the dressing room. But, dude, I told you not to do that. Uh, <laughs> you need to send us $500 in Amazon gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they would yeah. have, like, the most obnoxious reasoning for, like, alert the police. We're going to send SWAT to your house and all this shit. And yeah. meanwhile, you got 77-year-old Gam Gam. Oh, uh, no. And I basically used that to weigh the amount of shit we had. We had 52.6 pounds of dog shit. <laughs> wow gonna be doing video podcasts too in three weeks we'll be recording the the new the first video one okay yeah, it's right it's just gonna be like uh my asshole zoomed in <laughs> <laughs> and that's it that's- and i'm just gonna have a gopro in a sleeping bag except the, the sleeping bag zipped all the way up so it's gonna look like i'm in his asshole <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck that shit. we made it Fuck we hit the five minute mark you fucking cunts Blake uh, broke his leg, and I had to be his uh, emotional support animal to get him around uh, school. (laughs) We got video, bitches. Everybody likes watermelon, but if you're the only white guy getting your hair cut in a black barber shop, and there's a a black guy eating watermelon, and you're aware of that stereotype, you know what I like to do at the fair is uh, look at the sheep nuts. Ever do that? 
They have huge balls, dude. It's crazy. You ever see sheep balls? Oh, my God. They're massive. Massive. Like, insane. If you don't believe me, Creamers, go Google sheep nuts and uh, get back to me because... This is a CBS News exclusive. Uh Jessica Alba with a penis. Hulk Hogan with a vagina. (laughs) Uh, You have to f*** one of them. I'd rather not. This is how you hold the axe. This is how you throw the axe. It's like, oh, Jesus. Like, just let me figure it out. Let's have fun, dude. Get out of here, nerd. I want to throw a fucking axe. Don't tell me where to stand. I'll stand where I want to stand. I'll stand where I'm goddamn good and ready there, pal. I'm sorry. I I thought it was America. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) Fucking communist. Yeah. Or get a spatula. Just get like a family spatula and just Ooh. leave it on the toilet seat. Spatula? <laughs> yeah, like a rubber spatula. Oh, like rubber spatula. To wipe your ass, yeah. Oh, that's fucking gnarly. Ew. Yeah, I thought you were talking about like a metal grill spatula. <laughs> no, like a just, like a metal burger flipper. You're just yeah. like, Ugh. Yeah. We don't use any uh, toilet paper in this house, but we all have cut up anuses. That- so that's kind of like the team. Oh. But it's like... Uh, Oh, never mind. Happy 4th of July weekend, everybody. We're doing a special uh, podcast from the uh, White House lawn. We're going to storm the Capitol after this. We're looking forward to it. Make America great again. Yeah, the obvious ones, like uh, like Taft got stuck in a bathtub because he was like yeah. 1,300 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They had to like carry him around with a fucking crane. <laughs> like whenever he had to go city to city, they had to like allow extra time so he could like yeah. bathe while he's 30 feet up in the air. <laughs> It's like, a, it's like a, a giant orb that they just constantly feed and feed. <laughs> <laughs> the chef the, must have been pissed, dude. He's like, he's like, I never, never have any time off. This is awful. Yeah. <laughs> he's constantly eating and eating. <laughs> he's on his fourth of breakfast in one day. Is this guy uh, Italian? Is that what this guy is? I think so. You break my bathtub. He's he's the plumber <laughs> slash head chef at the, at the White, White House. House. He's, he's like, you clog the toilets. You clog my toilet. My dad just looks at me and he leans forward and he lets out like this like stomach emptying fart. <laughs> but because of yeah. like the wooden, like the the way the chair was designed, it was the like amp- it was like amplified <laughs> so loud, dude. That's great. <laughs> if you go to Mexico. <clears throat> they don't flush their toilet paper. So yeah. they have fucking trash cans next to their toilets with shitty toilet paper filled up. And I'm like gagging just thinking about. <laughs> That's like the guy that goes in for a root canal, wakes up with a boob job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, it's not even the same oh, doctor. Mo- <laughs> <laughs> Why am I in this building? <laughs> yeah, we do teeth and tits. <laughs> I also want to say I just want to point out That I am an ally I'm an ally for all marginalized groups You know I'm a big ally for everything uh, I, I identify as a Z-zer First of all ally. You know my pronouns are Z-zer So there's that I do think that Trump is Satan ally. I think he's the worst Creature to ever exist. Yes. You know, g- a gender is a construct. Yes. Uh, Elon Musk is a fascist, oh, and Twitter is evil now. How oh, they should just have airlines just dedicated for fat people, like farm animals, just like drag them onto the plane and strap them down. Get like an escalator, and at the top, it just curls back down and just dumps them into the middle of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> just stack them like sacks of potatoes. Uh, could you imagine being a flight attendant on that thing? That's all you hear is like snacks opening and wheezing the entire flight. <laughs> I'm praying that the landing gear doesn't just snap off when we hit the ground. <laughs> uh, 35,000 feet. Um, and just a reminder, we are out of barbecue sauce. Um, so <laughs> please stop asking. The- what would you call the fat person airline? Dumbo uh, Airlines. <laughs> Dumbo. Or and Bumbo. Bumbo sounds like a fat guy name. <laughs> yeah, Bumbo. Like a fat ass <laughs> clown that just gets the shit kicked out of him on a regular basis. Josh, you go see like Barbie you. yet? No, I'm, I'm gonna. I'd rather sit on a blender than see Barbie. I think. Whoa. Oh, yeah, Whoa. blender action, huh? Yeah, I'd sit on a blender before I saw Barbie. Whoa. I think. Okay, just one second. Maybe three. Oh, shit. All right. 
<laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to upset anybody this week. So uh, it was, it was weird because he was a little Chinese man. So the twenty three and Me guy actually comes to your house and he milks you into a mm. uh, into a thistle, and then brings it to his laboratory and then tests it. He, I think he has to sample it too in his mouth. Mm. Yeah. What Make is sure you're not cheating. Did you just use the word thistle? Tree theory is fun. But, but, but here's the thing. Why do we even... What, what, like, why do we even look into string theory? I don't know. Why don't you look into my asshole? Do you... I think we're a lot closer to Men in Black than you think. I think there's a uh, <clears throat> yeah. real Will Smiths out there scanning people's brains and stuff, dude. Just fucking... Come on. Bitch slapping aliens in the face. <laughs> <laughs> the new Men in Black 4 is just him slapping people. <laughs> Reset their memory. Keep my alien's name out your fucking mouth. So you already just brought this up, but can we touch on the Kevin James meme? Because that, yeah, what is going I on? saw that once and I have never stopped seeing it on my phone now. It's dude. just everywhere, dude. A couple of sips of gra grandpa's cough medicine guy. Have a fucking little turkey. Have some stuffing, some cranberry sauce, and some whiskey. We'll, we'll find out. Moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas, you've just crossed over into the cream pie zone. He pulled over a guy once and let him go because he had to take a shit really bad. That's the only cop story I know. Oh, and uh, he told me one time he showed up and like a uh, fucking <clears throat> a moose went through some somebody's windshield and like fucking <laughs> it was like his antlers were like through the guy's chest. Yeah, that's a pretty big jump from having to take a shit. <laughs> Teaching your kid to swim and you throw him out of a airplane over a lake. It's like, figure it out, buddy. Here we go. Yeah, airplane. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <clears throat> Man, nothing, nothing like a little bit of trauma, a little childhood trauma for a good laugh. Oh, Kanye and Ty Dollar Sign making a new album together. Sounds awesome. Oh, it's really? Yeah, I've oh, heard wow. some clips. Sounds really cool. He might be back. I think they're going to forgive Kanye, unless he calls it something crazy like Yamas. Jesus Christ. Fuck something, yeah. something like so illogical, like you don't see the, the camel for 45 minutes, and then all of a sudden you just see him like open, like pick a lock with his tongue and like untie him that he's like tied up in front of a fire. It's like, thanks, camel. And he pulled a nipple to dick, and they're all connected yeah. by a fucking chain. Rip a guy's nipples and dick off at the same time. Like he's, he's done. No, you know what's going to happen? It wouldn't rip anything off. It would just like pull your nipples like seven inches off your body and just like pull you, yank you forward <laughs> uh, imagine getting yanked by your nipples yeah it's rough or you're like you're and then there's like a hook on the middle of the chain you're just like hanging like this and with your back and you're just like ah let's <laughs> try and change a light bulb gets caught in the ceiling fan he's just hanging from his fucking dick and nipples <laughs> he's spinning. fucking spinning <laughs> <laughs> it's like my back is yeah. just one second away from like shitting my spine out and I'm <laughs> fucked just shitting your spine. Your spine just shits out of the bag of your body. Uh, it's like a Mortal Kombat finisher. Watching Amy Schumer until I laugh, and the 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 video is like 59 minutes long, <laughs> and it gets. I, I just like I would skip throughout the whole thing. It's just like this kid in his like in his bedroom, just like oh my god. Like, so you and I are technically dinks now, dude. According to Gen Z, uh, we're dinks. It's fucking stupid, dude. You know, <laughs> dink used to mean something in this country. Pretty sick. Stay creamy. 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 Love you. Keep it creamy. Stay creamy, everybody. Keep it creamy. Enjoy that creamy view. Keep it creamy. I take care. Stay creamy. Stay spooky and stay creamy. Absolutely. Stay creamy. Stay creamy. Stay creamy. Stay creamy. Stay creamy. Stay creamy. Stay creamy.